Welcome new nights to the nighting. My name is Jordan James, a human communication major from West Palm Beach. And I'm Hannah Ward, a higher education policy studies graduate student from Orlando, Florida. And we have the pleasure of serving as your MCs. You're about to partake in a tradition here at UCF, hearing from university administration and current students, and officially becoming nice through the nighting, performed by none other than Nitro himself. But before we jump in, we want to go over some safety reminders. Please make sure to keep your face covering on throughout the entirety of the event. Make sure you stay in your social distance circle with only the people you arrived with. Remember, socially distanced is six feet apart, like Jordan and I are here. Please remember, no more than four people per circle. At the end of the event, after you're officially knighted, we will dismiss you row by row so that everyone can continue to social distance. To kick off today's event, it is up to all of us to protect our kingdom, our community here at UCF. Let's learn how to take the pledge to armor up knights. There's something about being on campus, seeing my friends walking the halls, learning from professors in the classroom, cheering on our nights, well, everywhere. I never want to miss out on that excitement. That's why I'll wear a face covering. I'll wash my hands. I'll stay six feet away from others. I'll stay home if I'm sick. I'll remember that others may be more vulnerable than I am. I will do this on and off campus and everywhere I go because that's what knights do. We look out for others. We help keep each other safe and protect our kingdom to defend each other and those who need it most because our community is our kingdom. Armor up, knights. Our next speaker has a special message to welcome all of you to the UCF family. As we welcome UCF's president, Alexander Cartwright, we also want to acknowledge the First Lady Melinda Cartwright as well. Please welcome UCF's president, Alexander Cartwright. Hello, Knights. I'm certainly excited to welcome all of you to the UCF family and so happy that you've actually chosen UCF as your place to be. Of course, this is my wife and I, our first fall here also, so I guess we'll be going through the nighting ceremony with you. Um, it's an amazing tradition to be able to get so many people together, and I'm so happy to be able to see so many of you here this evening. This fall is gonna be different. You saw the video. It's gonna be different than any we've had before, but it's great to see so many of you here, so many of you continuing to practice all of the things that we need you to do, the social distancing, the mask wearing. When you go to class, you're gonna see that that's the spacing set up quite differently and you're going to be able to be a long ways away from each other and the classes might look a little empty. Uh, but that's the best thing that we can do so that you can continue to be here. We're so excited to be part of this, to know that this is UCF, this is who we are, and we're going to do everything we can to be successful uh, with this endeavor over this fall semester. You saw that we want you to take that armor up pledge and we want you to take that seriously and we want you to be our ambassadors to help other people to recognize that they also need to be able to follow the rules and help us to have that successful fall that we want to see. When you come to the university, there's so much learning and so much growth that takes place and much of that is when you interact with each other when you're able to see each other and talk to each other. And we wanna make sure that you're able to spend time with each other and enjoy your time at the university. I wanna also challenge you to follow the UCF creed, which actually says a lot about what it means to be a knight. And that is that you should practice your integrity and that you should commit to your scholarship. Respect every member of your community Embrace your creativity, and in everything you do, strive for excellence. That is what knights do. Be dedicated to your studies, but also look forward, look for other ways that you might engage with others, get to know each other better, and of course, treat each other with respect. Look for people who think differently, people who challenge you in your thinking. That's the way that you will grow and become 
even better as a person. Again, I want to emphasize that all of us are so excited to have you back here. We're looking forward to you helping us to make this a successful endeavor. And as you begin your journey, I want you to think about the mark you will make here and how you will change UCF and make UCF a better place. Be bold, make suggestions, help us to figure out ways that we might be able to do things a little better this fall so that all of us can have a remarkable year at UCF. You can be part of that UCF legacy. And when you look back, you will remember that you were that class that came in and were part of this, this fall that is like no other. Thank you for everything you do. And in everything, go Knights and charge on. At UCF, we are committed to the well-being of every night. Returning to our kingdom is going to look a little different this semester. Together, we will get through this, and we are going to see how in this video. Every new school year holds the promise of possibility and a certain optimism. This year also holds unique challenges. And at UCF, we want to assure you that we are committed to the well-being of every night. We have worked tirelessly over the last several months to ensure a safer return for the fall semester. You will notice newly installed hand sanitizing and disinfecting wipe stations, reduced occupancy in classrooms, upgrades to our HVAC system, plexiglass dividers, testing sites in parking garages, increased cleanings of our facilities, motion sensors on doors, vending machines stocked with face coverings, and everyone armoring up. Returning to campus is going to look and feel different from any semester we've experienced before, but this is still UCF. This is still UCF. This is still UCF. We remain invested in the outcomes of our students, our commitment to Central Florida, and our impact on the world. That will never change. Whether we're learning in a classroom, or on a laptop, innovating the next big breakthrough in a research lab, or working at the kitchen table, because UCF is more than a place. It's our people and our differences that make us great. Es nuestra gente y nuestra diversidad que nos hace especial. UCF is a mindset of unlimited potential. That you can do and be anything. It's a feeling of family and community. Es un sentimiento de familia y comunidad. It's a force that endures whether we are connected face to face or online. And although our reality right now seems to change by the minute. We will continue to work with federal, state, and local officials to do what's best for everyone's health and safety. Because if there's one thing Knights do well, it's respecting and taking care of others. Together, 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 we will get through this. And we will do it with the grace, understanding, and compassion that Knights are known for. Stay safe, stay well, and charge on. Our next speaker is going to talk about the importance of well-being. Please welcome Associate Vice President and Dean of Students, Dr. Adrian Frame. Good evening, Knights. There's a big sign here that says, please use your outdoor voice. So I will do my best to do that. My name is Dr. Adrian Frame and I'm the Associate Vice President and Dean of Students here at the University of Central Florida. Welcome home. Many of you, well, I hope that I get a chance to meet you as we go through this semester and this year. Some of you know that if I could change my title, I would change it to Dean with Students. I, my job is to help find out what makes you tick and how you want to be supported and to try and find a way to do that every step of the way. Student Development Enrollment Services welcomes you. This event is put forward by a number of people, including Student Development Enrollment Services staff. Our Vice President for Student Development Enrollment Services, Mary Beth Ehas, sends her regards and welcomes you home. The Division of Student Development Enrollment Services is responsible for many of the out-of-classroom learning experiences and opportunities that you will have this year, and we're excited to have you. Our number one priority of the programs and departments within SDES 
is to foster student success through student well-being. How do we define well-being here at UCF? Through a holistic and culturally conscious curricular approach, SDES fosters a university-wide curriculum of care and learning in which all students develop knowledge and skills, identify meaning and purpose, build resilience, develop financial literacy, increase engagement, and exercise harm-reducing choices to, um, to positively impact retention and graduation rates and career readiness, and minimize impacts to academic progress. Through your FY and your first year experience and orientation time, you probably heard some of these pillars that I'm talking about. The five pillars being purpose, resilience, engagement, harm reduction, and financial literacy, all of which are couched in our culturally conscious foundation and approach. The first pillar of well-being is purpose. Purpose is the process of deriving meaning, direction, and fulfillment as an individual. The second pillar, resilience the ability to, de to develop and demonstrate skills to adapt to life experiences, wearing masks, wearing facial coverings, socially distancing, washing hands, all about our resilience plans moving forward. Engagement, being here tonight, whether you're here in person or here online, we're so glad that you've connected to this evening with this event. Engagement in our well-being curriculum is the act of participating in the learning environment. This is an active community, and we encourage you and expect you to be, be involved with us. The fourth pillar, harm reduction. The ability to identify and demonstrate behaviors that promote positive outcomes and identify and minimize behaviors that produce negative outcomes. Making choices that move you forward towards your purpose and avoiding those that take you away from it. The fifth pillar, financial literacy. The development of knowledge, skills, and abilities necessary to maintain and manage personal finances. This is a challenge for so many people, and we're here to help you learn those skills. The foundation of our well-being model is our culturally conscious approach. The ability to acknowledge and incorporate an understanding of the cultural and social context of individuals and the environment. Everyone has a place at UCF. We are an inclusive community of scholars and learners, and we want everyone to feel a part. Our goal is to minimize any, any impacts on academic success, things like stress, anxiety, depression, sleep difficulties. There are so many resources through SDES with our counseling and psychological services, care services, the Office of Student Involvement, the Office of Career Services, so many resources to help you get connected and be successful and avoid academic impediments. So my charge to you tonight is simple. How do we protect and fortify each other's well-being? How do we be good stewards of our well-being and the well-being of others? What is your purpose in coming to UCF? How can UCF and Student Development Enrollment Services help you achieve that? What skills do you have to be resilient already? What resources might you wish to access at UCF to help you strengthen your resiliency? How do you want to demonstrate your engagement in the UCF community, both inside and outside of the formal classroom environment? And how can SDS staff, services, and departments help you identify areas for engagement on campus? How will you incorporate harm-reducing strategies to ensure you're realizing desired outcomes and minimizing less desirable ones? How will you practice and increase your financial literacy? What resources, staff, services, and programs within SDS and across the institution can you incorporate to help you in this endeavor? And how will you demonstrate, incorporate, commit, and grow your cultural consciousness at UCF? What active role will you take to ensure that UCF is a place that is welcoming and inclusive of all individuals? Student government and student development enrollment services in, in partnership with UCF across the institution have built a web course for each of you to take about our return to campus strategies and expectations. 
You're each automatically enrolled in that web course. It should be in your web course dashboard. I would please ask you that this evening, if you haven't already taken it, and I know a number of you have, that you commit to taking that to better understand the expectations of all of us to be good stewards and protectors of the well-beings of ourselves and of each other. The goal of the well-being curriculum for student development and enrollment services is to help build a successful student that emerges from UCF as a well-being, a well person, prepared to face the challenges of the world as a culturally conscious, engaged citizen who acts with purpose, demonstrates resilience, incorporates harm-reducing strategies, and practices financial literacy. Go Knights, charge on. Something to know about UCF is that our students, staff, and faculty have a lot, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot of UCF spirit. Thank you all. So speaking of spirit, how do you like our, our UCF spirit shirts? Yes, no, maybe so? Thank you all, thank you. Well, it's a good thing you like them because you all get a free shirt. So make sure to stop by the office of student involvement on the second floor of the student union to pick up your shirt within the next two weeks ucf also has a lot of spirit when it comes to ucf athletics as orlando's hometown team ucf football is changing the future of college football get ready for an awesome season orlando florida known as the city beautiful you see, when you live where the world vacations, you're not a hidden gem. You're the world's worst kept secret. As the winningest football program in a football conference, we're in your face. We're loved. We're hated. We're admired. But most importantly, we're true to who we are. UCF is Orlando's hometown team! As a young program growing rich with success, it's not hard to understand what we're the heartbeat of the Sunshine State. This is where we create the future of college football. Well, the bounce house is already lit. With global exposure and a swag that is out of this world. When these lights are on, we are the center of attention. So come make your splash and bounce with your brothers. Right where you belong. Nice, right? Our next speaker will share her experience as a UCF student and share insight from student government. Please join me in welcoming your student government president, Sabrina La Rosa. Everyone, there is no such thing as a typical college experience. Each and every one of you are going to have your own unique experiences during your time at UCF, and I encourage you to make the most out of these years. Although there's no straightforward college experience, the number one thing you will all share during your time at UCF is the fact that it'll become your new home. Hello Knights, my name is Sabrina LaRosa and I am the student body president, and I wanna welcome you to your new home, not just for the next few years, but for life. There's a saying, a house is not a home, and it applies here. We have the most beautiful and innovative campus, but that is not the essence of UCF. UCF is a home because of the people who make up our campus. From our individual knights who care for others, to our faculty, staff, and administrators who look out for students daily, we are a UCF family. I'll never forget key moments that solidified my belief that UCF is more than a university, but a family who will always be there for you. One moment that stands out was during my freshman year. I was alone at the student union and a woman who worked for facilities saw me and offered me advice and spoke with me until my meeting started. She even saw me shivering and gave me a sweater. On that day, I felt valued, loved, and appreciated and no longer felt like a small fish in a large pond. As I stand before you today, 
I want you to know that in a school of over 69,000 students, you are valued, loved, and appreciated by so many, and you should always carry that belief with you in your time at UCF. I think it's safe to say that this year has had some unexpected twists and turns, but if there's anything we have learned in the past few months, it's that you should take every single moment in life and never take it for granted. I may feel a little old saying this as a senior, but these few years at UCF are going to fly by. So I urge each of you to make the most out of your years at UCF and strive to create those precious and priceless moments that you will hold with you forever. If I had to leave you with any advice, I would say find your passion and run with it. We have over 650 student organizations and incredible programs throughout campus. I urge you all to find what makes you happiest and get involved. Never feel afraid to talk to fellow students, faculty, or staff to seek advice and mentorship because that will help you in so many ways. You are all here for a reason, and as members of the Knight community, you are built for greatness, and never forget it. I want you to know, as one of your new UCF family members, I and student government will always be here for you. Whether you need advice, guidance, or a shoulder to lean on, we are here to support you every step of the way. As always, go Knights, charge on, and don't forget to armor up. This is your time. What story are you going to create for yourself during your time here at UCF? What steps are you going to take to prepare yourself for that next step after graduation? Your career or graduate school? How are you going to live out the UCF creed starting today? To start your story, we have some amazing events for you to partake in this week to build community and find your sense of belonging here at UCF. The LINK program, which stands for Learning and Interacting with New Knights, is an education and involvement-based program to help students new to UCF get involved on campus. With events from academic and learning programs to interaction and community building events, there's something to help every student feel right at home. You can find link events on UCF Mobile. The Office of Student Involvement, or OSI, is hosting some amazing events this week through Pegasus Palooza. You can find amazing Pegasus Palooza events on the UCF Mobile app as well. O OSI also has other amazing ways to get involved. Let's check that out.
Today marks your entrance into UCF's tradition of excellence. From this day forth, you will be expected to live by our UCF creed that states, integrity, scholarship, community, creativity, and excellence are the core values that guide our conduct, performance, and decisions. As you prepare to be knighted, you're going to learn some of our most exciting traditions here at UCF from our very own UCF spirit team. Stand up before we start. Thank you. All right. My name is Mitt. This is the UCF cheerleading team. We're going to teach you guys some traditions here. First, we have our letters. That is UCF, if you didn't know. First, we have our U. Hold up your arms nice and big like you're holding a box, like a big box. Beautiful. And you're going to drop it down to your left for your C. Your left. Yes, your left. Great. And now for that F, you're just going to straighten out your top arm, your top arm. There you go. Leave your bottom arm the same. That's your F. All right, let's try that from the top. Ready? Show me your U. Nice and big. Beautiful. To your left for your C. Beautiful. And straighten that top arm for your F. Great job. Now let's try that to some music. DJ, drop the track. Give me a U. We need a C. C. Great job. How about an F? Don't forget to yell the letter. Okay, night fans, let's put it all together. U. C. F. There you go. Beautiful job. Beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm going to teach you guys one more thing that we do during football season for kickoff. The kicker's gonna come out here and set up the ball. Special guest, Nitro. And the kicker's gonna get ready to kick the ball. As it's coming up, we're gonna go, ah. And then once he kicks it, you're gonna use those arms and make your UCF night. Everybody got that? Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's try it. Ready? Ah. Ooh, I don't know. I think we do a lot better than that. Let's go. Let's get loud. Here we go. Uh, beautiful job, guys. Beautiful. That was great. I'm going to pass it over to my friend Nick. He's going to teach you guys some more. All right, everybody. We have a tradition here at UCF, and this tradition goes anywhere we go, okay? So anytime you're walking around and you see someone with UCF gear on, you're going to say, Go Knights. And after you say, Go Knights, their response is going to be charge on. So we're going to practice right here, right now. We're going to say go Knights, and then y'all are going to say charge on. You ready? All right, you ready? One, two, three. Go Knights! Go Knights! Go Knights! Last time. All right, that was good. All right, so I understand we have some COVID, you know, frustration right now. We're really, we haven't been able to, you know, exercise our right to be as loud as possible. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. Ready? One, two, three. Go, night. Go, 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 Last time. Go, Awesome, that was really good. Okay, so another tradition we have, it's here for football games. For football games... Whenever we're on defense and we stop the opposing team, okay, we're going to hold that line. We're on third down. You're going to hear an announcer say, and that's third down, and you're going to be as loud as possible. We're going to put three fingers in the air. You're going to wave them around. You're going to be as loud. You're going to make as much noise. You're trying to stop the other team, okay? So you ready? You're going to hear the, uh, the announcer say, and that's third down. Make some, noise. make some noise. Come on, get up, get up. All right, all right. Let's try it one more time, one more time. And it's third down. Awesome, awesome. One last football tradition we have here is on first down. Okay, you're going to hear the announcer say, and that's good enough for UCF first down. And you're going to follow what the cheerleaders do, okay? Ready? And, 
That's good enough for UCF. First down. You saw what they did? All right, we're going to go to the left this time. Our left, your right. You ready? And that's good enough for UCF. First down. Awesome. Y'all did, did a really good job. We're going to hand you off to Judge, and he's going to help you all out with the war chant. All right, what's up, y'all? My name is Judge, like he just said. I'm going to teach you guys the war chant today, all right? With the war chant, we got four basic moves. First, we got clap like this. There we go. Followed by a punch, we're going to yell, go. Go! Four claps. Arm here, and we're going to wave. Yeah, there we go. Followed by one more go and a punch. Ready? Go! All right, that was all right. We're going to try with some music. So DJ, go ahead and do your thing. All the cheerleaders. Pretty good. All right, that was pretty good. Next thing I'm gonna teach you guys is the black and gold chant. So I'm gonna put a line right here in the middle. You guys on this side are yelling black. You guys are yelling gold. So when I point, yell the color. You guys ready? You guys ready? All right, let's be loud. Here we go. Black. Black. Louder. Let's go! Black! Last time? Go! All right, you guys killed that. All right, I'm gonna pass it out to the birthday boy, Tanner. All right, what's going on, y'all? So the first thing we're gonna do during basketball season, anytime we're gonna make a free throw, we do this thing, it's called stomp, stomp, clap, clap, whoosh. So we have Nitro right here. Mitt's gonna be right here. He's gonna say, get your hands up. Everyone get your hands up. All right, when we shoot the free throw, we're going to stop both of our feet twice. We're going to do two claps. We're going to go whoosh and hit our UCF arm motion. We're going to do it one time, catch on, and then we'll do it again. Ready? So he's shooting the free throw. He makes it. Ready? Stop, stop, clap, clap, whoosh, UCF. All right, we can get some more energy, though. Let's try one more time. Ready? Nitro shooting the free throw. And he makes it. Stop, stop, clap, clap, whoosh. You see, huh? All right, that's awesome. We're gonna roll right into the next thing. So the next thing we have is our knights spell out. If you know how to spell knights, that's awesome. If you don't, we have the letters right here for you. So the knights spell out, it's in our UCF like football game, any pregame. We're gonna do it to some music. We'll catch on. DJ, let's go. I'm gonna try that one more time. <laughs> Nights fell out, here we go. Okay, don't have the right song. Oh. So <laughs> you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. Y'all got it? Woo! Yeah! Here we go! Alright, okay. y'all. I don't have a good voice, but I'm gonna sing it for you because they don't have the music. Ready? Da! 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 K! G H T S go knights da, 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 da. go knights da, 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 da. go da, 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 da. go da, 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 da. go 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 da, 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 da. UCF, go 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 go
All right, awesome job. All right. All right, so the last thing we're going to do, we're going to do zombie nation. Mitt told us this UCF arms fella earlier. Can we see it? Let's go to U. C. F. Awesome. We're going to do that in the music. Let's play the music. Y'all join in with us. Let's go. Make some noise. Get ready for the arms fella. Get ready for the arm, you see, hey, hey, it's gonna do one more. As knights, we are charged with keeping our gaze before us while never forsaking the traditions of our past. Today, we stand before each other to affirm our desire to be joined together. The charging knight is symbolic of UCS excellence in scholarship and athletics. And it is with pride and excitement that you should receive this distinction, making you official UCF knights. All right, knights. So a tradition that we have here at UCF, it's called the knighting. Usually we have nitro. He usually knights one person. He taps their right shoulder, left shoulder, and they're a knight. So I'm going to have all y'all take a knee for me. One knee. All right. So when I point to y'all left, you guys are going to say once a knight. When I point to your right, you're going to say always a knight. And when nitro points his sword to the top, we're going to say charge on. All right, y'all ready? Once a night, always a night, charge on. All right, y'all, welcome to UCF. It's a great night to be a night. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Congratulations and welcome UCF night family. Good luck on the first day tomorrow and look out for Pegasus Beluga activity events all week. Thank you to our speakers, as well as the Office of Student Involvement, First Year Experience, and Impulse Productions for putting on this event. Please stay where you are until we section out and call you out by sections to be ushered out of Memory Mall.